Even as they dance, to a large extent, their survival is dependent on donor aid. This is something for which Uganda continues to lobby from international and humanitarian agencies. To support Uganda in managing refugees, the country, despite having an open-door policy, requires more funding. We have continued to coexist with them. And by the way things are, because of security in those countries, the refugee situation in Uganda has now become a protracted thing, where we don't see the end soon. This concern is shared by the United Nations High Commission for Refugees. We need uh, to increase on the, the livelihood activities to allow them to come back uh, to, to taking care of themselves and their families. Refugees are imposing into our country is the issue of environment. If we can see how we can restore yeah, environmental related issues in the country, that would be very good. In response, United States has made public two commitments to that effect. So I am very pleased to announce today that the United States, through the U.S. Agency for International Development, or USAID, is providing $21 million in emergency food aid to support the most vulnerable people in Uganda. This funding will support general food assistance and comprehensive nutrition programming for refugees as well as address the immediate needs of the people of Karamoja. Then came an additional, but also broader assurance from the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Population, Refugees and Migration, Julieta Valls Noyes. My country will soon provide nearly $571 million in humanitarian assistance to forcibly displaced and persecuted people across Africa. That, that includes people affected by crises in Ethiopia, the Sahel, and other new and protected emergency situations across the continent. Whereas this is meant for emergencies in the entire continent of Africa, 61 million US dollars of this funding is meant for Uganda. Engineer Hilary Onek describes the intervention as not only timely, but also worth welcoming. All this really, to us at this critical moment, we cannot price it. It has come timely. I will convey this to our cabinet, the generosity that you've given us, and uh, we shall definitely be very, very grateful. Uganda is currently home to over 1.5 million refugees whose welfare requires collective interventions, a gesture that the United States is practically portraying. Henry Okrut, UBC. <laughs>